Hello, my name is Ingus and I am from IGS Electronics and today we're going to do a different drive and that drive is manufactured by Mitsubishi and it's a D700 series drive and well as usual we're going to look at our three videos first video setting up the motor getting all the parameters going and local run uh, second video uh, remote control the, uh, with 2i, 3i control and potentiometer and a third video multi-frequency, explore a bit more settings, put more other controls and things like that. And before we get started, again, I just like to as a buy and sell of uh, industrial automation goods. So if you have any goods to sell, definitely get in touch. And if you go on looking for a part, definitely touch, get in touch as well on our website or on our eBay page. We can see all the uh, information below. And also old manuals and things that will be related to this video that I've believe feel like it will be related and help you out it will be also in the description below so without further ado let's get started <music> Alrighty, so the first, as usual, let's have a look at the wiring and not wiring the actual uh, terminals itself. Power goes in here, right on the bottom down here, which is L1 and L2 for the single phase. For the three phase, obviously, it's going to be a UVW uh, or L1 to L1 and L2, L3 actually. And then I'll put in here it's gonna, uh, for the for the motor is down here, which is a UVW down there. And that goes straight to the motor. The front panel in here, these are A, B, and C is our uh, uh, outputs for different things. Is they're configurable, but mainly they're used for faults uh, for, uh, for, uh, on the default. So, but that can be configured as well. And here, there are all the inputs in here. And in here, you have the what they call the the safety uh, safety uh, safety stop signals in here. And also you have a uh, open collector output down here, which is run SC. In the short words, that would be a uh, sort of uh, sending a signal that the drive is running. And uh, in here, and also you don't have the FM. Yeah, this one doesn't have the FM thingy. Uh, but in, in here you have a uh, old analog inputs in there. And uh, this one down here is your PU connector, where you can uh, connect that to an external PU uh, controller. Uh, which is uh, much more advanced and if you want a PU controller be somewhere else on the panel and things like you want to see what's going on in the drive you can uh, use that for uh, connecting that to uh, uh, with the cable uh, externally and also you can uh, have I think is uh, I forgot the right now uh, to write numbers but you can connect that to the laptop and uh, which we're going to be looking later on videos on a different type of drive where we're going to be using the RF configurator to have a look at how this can be done on a, on, on a laptop so uh, and uh, uh, when it comes down to front keypad it's quite straightforward let me run you through everything this is the dial this is pretty much when it's not the in any of the settings and things like it, pretty much all it does it would be change your uh, setting and things like that which at the moment i have not been set to do that but uh usually in a normal way you, we're gonna when we do it locally you'll be able to control the uh, frequency with it but now you can't do anything with it so because it's not set uh then the mode button you pretty much enter all the parameters and use a wheel to go around it set button obviously you get enter the button enter the parameter and obviously you you set the button so it's so oop set and oh, you can change oh don't want to change that not yet uh set and then uh, you can't do that yet because we are in external mode so that's that was going to next uh, going to be next for me the pu is basically go between uh, local and external run and uh when you go uh, let me just uh, leave the mode out of it if you click pu uh what when you go from let me start start again so when you are in a PU mode, when you click the PU again, it will go in a jog mode. Because we, we, so I just clicked it. So he basically allows you to uh, jog the motor, and then you obviously uh, when you click it again, you are in external mode, basically running from the uh, front um, terminals down there, uh, which are still need to be set in uh, terminal uh, 79, which is, which you're going to get to in a minute. And obviously, start and stop and reset is all there. So you can't you can't change much of the parameters when you're in external mode. So always make sure you're in the PU mode when you play around with your parameters. So that is oh yeah, and uh, uh, one more thing down there, you got the sink and source in here. Uh, you can change it with the um, whatever thingy what are they called, and uh, you have a down here 
you should be able to see which, which is your uh, current and voltage, what sort of uh, frequency control you're going to be using. May please be aware that uh, the, uh, on default, that uh, that in here is on current and in most cases a lot of people use the potentiometer which is uh, 0 to 10 volts so make sure that is switch is flipped to volts if you don't have it uh, it, it will go in the error and uh, you will see uh, the error popping up on a, on, a, on, a, on a screen saying that you are doing something wrong so if that's happening when you're trying to run it I'm not, I can't remember what error number it was, but you should, I'm pretty sure you'll figure it out very quickly. Just make sure that that switch is on volts down here. So that's pretty much the, uh, how everything looks. The terminals, the connections, and how to use the uh, front, uh, front terminal. So now let's get, let's get started with the editing all the data, motor data in the drive. All right, before we get all the uh, data entered into the drive, let's do the factory reset. And to do that, just go to uh, mode, go backwards till you see all clear, well all see, select the one, set, set, and you're pretty much done. So you just quickly uh, changed all the all the data back to factory uh, factory defaults. So you're pretty much done on that one. So next, let's get we get going with the setting up the the, the drive itself for the thingy, and uh, we're gonna go in and order all the parameters. Uh, so the first I'm gonna do my maximum frequency. My motor is 50, 50 hertz, so I don't want my maximum frequency to go higher than uh, 50 hertz. So uh, that will be parameter one. So I should make sure that's that's the case. So here we go, set on that one. And obviously, in, uh, you, for the second parameter, you can set your minimum frequency if you don't want the motor to go any lower than that. So this is where you will set it in. And the parameter three to make sure that is in 50. 50 yes so because well depending where you are i'm in uk our frequency is 50 if you are somewhere in south american things i probably be 60 just to make sure that's the, that's to your uh, frequency what you need uh, the next one i usually set up is my uh my acceleration acceleration because for the for the, the um, demonstration purposes we're gonna have a low acceleration deacceleration and oh come on there we go, that'll do. So on the, the following parameters, we're going to go all the way to uh, parameter set uh, 71, because purely we need to do that because we're going to be doing auto-tuning as well, so to try to get our, our factor. So uh, I'm using a very standard motor, an SCW standard motor. So in Mitsubishi, that is a 3. The next one is going to be our uh, motor capacity, 0.37 kilowatt, which is the... Uh, 80 parameter 80 and we need to make sure 0.37 kilowatt the following here is a motor excitation current i don't have that data i'm not going to touch that uh, then there's a motor rated voltage and we just missed the uh, what did i get in motor rated voltage yeah that's 230 in here and the one parameter I forgot to change is my current which is the parameter 9 so which is basically our overload you can even say so let's go back to 9 so 9 this is where we set up our current so our motor current is 1.9 uh, what was that 1.98 we're gonna set that to 1.9 let's say trip out in 1.95 set that one so make sure you set that one as well so so that's there the next one uh, we're gonna go all the way back to uh rate of frequency which is 84 oh my god i'm all over the place in this one uh the frequency is 50 hertz is already and the next one we're gonna be um we, we're going to be forming the auto two which is the it's, it's, it's the 90 we're going to set that in the 90 uh, for the where we're going to be uh, selecting our uh, motor constant what they call the r1 uh, as long as you change uh, it this will be set uh, uh, after the auto tune so check uh, if you just move from 999 to 50 and that will do and then you go for for the 96 and selects the uh, selects the 96 to 11 which is for uh this application that we require and once you've done that's pretty much all the data is in the motor we're going to perform the auto tune so um we leave that and then we press run and there we go the motor's doing his business 12 means he's in the process and if he hits 13 it means he's done all his 
auto tuning and here we go the motor has been a uh, auto tuned and is all happy everything's going well so that's all the data has been entered in the uh, yeah in a, in a drive, we have auto tuned it, everything is uh, up running, working. So only thing is left now is to run. Run is just click run. There we go, it's already went to 50 hertz. So, and I've changed frequency with the front dial. So you can see, if, as you can't go and start going down the, in the frequency, it gets a bit noisier. There is a parameter you can smooth this out a bit, but uh, there are some limitations as far as I remember last time we did it. So for, the, for this purpose, we're not going to touch that parameter, but pretty much the slower you go, so, so it gets a bit noisier. But on that, it's pretty good. So I just stop much, as you can see, my acceleration, the acceleration is quite quick. So uh, that's pretty much, uh, yeah, obviously, and if you want to uh, 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 run from local mode, just make sure that you are in a PU mode. And if you uh, want to jog it, here we go in a jog mode and also you can uh, uh, adjust uh, that uh, frequency of what jog you want in there uh, in, in a jog of um, uh, parameter which I can't remember which one it is but we'll look at it next uh, next video and that will be it your drive is fully set up ready to go from obviously the uh, from uh, local mode we have set it all up, we auto-tuned it, and everything is uh, singing and dancing. So, uh, if you liked the video, please smash that like. If you didn't, smash this like. Uh, all the comments below will be welcome, and any constructive criticism will definitely help us out. So, uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.